Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I'm here with another fragrance review. And this fragrance, I don't know when I'm gonna post this, but the day that I recorded this, there was no reviews on it. I saw it drop at Fragrance Buy, and I kind of had an idea of what it was. So I picked it up, and it's going to be Latafa's Bedel Oud Amethyst. Packaging that it comes in is similar to Oud for Glory or Bed de Oud, the original. Um, mine came kind of cracked right here. Oh, oh right there. Um, but it's still that little coffin. And it sits right in there, real nice. Still really nice packaging, even cracked. I really don't care that much about packaging, so it doesn't bother me. Let's talk about what this is a clone of because it's a Latafa, so it's gonna be a clone and if you check the internet, it says that it's a clone of Initio's Psychedelic Love. If you look at the notes though, and if you really smell this, the notes are really similar to Atomic Rose, so I think it's Atomic Rose. Let me read the notes to you. Top notes are Bergamot and Pink Pepper, Heart, Turkish Rose, Bulgarian Rose, and Jasmine, and then base notes Vanilla, Amber, and Oud. I mean, that's two roses. Two roses kind of give me the impression that this is Atomic Rose. I haven't smelled a lot of Initios, and honestly, if Latafa keeps making Initio clones, I'm not going to smell them, especially if the Latafa clones smell pretty good. And this one smells really good. In this, I'm getting those roses. I'm getting sweetness from the vanilla. I'm getting warmth from the amber. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of pink pepper. I don't feel like there's too much. For me, that's a bit big deal. If there's too much pepper, I don't like a fragrance because it just, it's too much. This is really perfect in the amount of pink pepper. I don't get a lot of bergamot. And it says there's oud in the base. The oud is giving off this like kind of leathery feel, um, but in a really good way because the way it kind of blends in with the vanilla and amber and those rosy notes, which by the way, I don't feel like the rose in here is overwhelming. And it's more of a sweet rose, not a jammy rose at all because the way that it blends with the, that note that is coming off as like a leathery note, it smells really good and it smells really balanced. So it's not like a fresh rose or a jammy rose, it's kind of right there in the middle. Um, and it's a really nice scent. I actually like this one a lot more than I like the original Bed de Oud or Oud for Glory. Uh, so this one has pretty much been a win for me. I'm gonna talk about kind of some of the reasons why. Performance-wise, I didn't think that this was a big performer um, because projection at the two and a half hour mark, which by the way is already pretty far into the dry down, I wasn't able to get like someone, you know, four feet away to smell me, but as I got closer, they could still smell it. I got over 10 hours of longevity. I got over two hours of about four feet of a scent bubble and then it started to come in. But the sillage on this goes to the end and when I say I got over 10 hours of, of longevity, I know that because the sillage went well over the 10 hour mark, which is pretty amazing for a fragrance like this. So performance, definitely well above average, definitely a Latafa fragrance. Not all of them are above average, but this one's definitely above average. Again, I have no qualms with performance. If you get good performance and a fragrance that smells this good, I feel like it's a win. So this one's already a win for me. Um, again, I really like this, and I think people that don't like rose would still like this, which kind of leads me into who can wear this. This is a very unisex scent. I can tell you that because somebody that was asking me what I was wearing said, hey, is that perfume or cologne? If somebody asks that question to them, they can't, they can't tell. That means it's unisex. I think anyone that likes kind of like a warm, alluring fragrance, this would be the type of fragrance for them. If you're looking for something ultra sweet, it isn't this, but I do find it to be pretty sweet. I mean, it's definitely sweet enough, not too sweet for me, really at the level that I prefer, honestly. It does have some rosiness, but I don't think it's like ultra rosy. I feel like it's very unisex. I feel like maybe, maybe, if I had to put an age on it, I would say 25 plus, because it doesn't have that sweetness that younger people I feel would prefer. But I honestly think that this would, be pretty good for a general audience. If you don't like rose at all, you probably won't like this, but just keep in mind that I feel like the amber and the vanilla balance this out pretty well. And that note 
that I think is coming from their version of Oud that's kind of coming off a little bit leathery to me is going to balance it out. At least to me, I find it very balanced. Where could you wear this? I think this is an amazing date night fragrance. On top of that, I honestly think that if you had something formal to go to, this would work wonders. I would dress it up. I would wear it for evenings out. I don't find it to be cloying. If you were to ask me what seasons I would wear this in, I would say primarily fall and winter. However, if you get a light breeze in the evenings for spring and summer, you could totally pull it off. Where I live, it never gets too hot, except maybe a couple weeks in the summer at night. Otherwise, we got a little bit of a breeze going. I could totally rock this at night year round. Wouldn't wear it to the club or anything like that, but if I'm dressing up at all, I'm definitely not gonna hesitate reaching for this fragrance. Compliments. The sillage on this has gotten me a lot of compliments, like not just so you smell good, uh, wow, what is that? You smell really good. What's it called? More than once. So every time I wore this, I got at least two to three compliments. That's pretty good. I mean, yeah, we're starting to not wear our masks and stuff these days, but that's still really good. It's pretty much any time I was walking past somebody is when they noticed it and asked me what I was wearing, so. Guys, it gets compliments. It's a really good one. And for that, I'm just like, kind of amazed, you know? I like the smell of it, other people like the smell of it, it performs well, and on top of that, let's get to the price. It is between $30 and $35 on fragrancebuy.ca. It sold out, Oud for Glory sold out immediately when it dropped too. This sold out, I used one of my free shipping coupons on this one because I knew it was gonna sell out and I wasn't gonna try to get a cart of five um, while I waited for it to sell out. It sold out within 24 hours, but they restock a lot. They may even be restocked by the time I drop this video. I'm gonna drop the link. It's also on intenseoud.com. I have a coupon for them in the description. It's only $40 on Intense Oud, so to use the $15 coupon, you just need to add 10 more dollars worth of stuff in your cart, or you could just buy it for $40. There's, options are endless. If you've tried this, let us know down below what you think. If you've tried this and Atomic Rose, definitely let us know what you think. See how this purple bottle compares with that one. By the way, the bottle is amazing. I mean, you guys already know Latafa's presentation is top notch. If you've tried Oud for Glory and Oud for Greatness, let us know what you thought about that. That probably, I would imagine, is gonna reflect how you feel about this one. As always, like this video if you liked it. Be subscribed to this channel, hit that notification bell to get notified when I drop new videos. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!